Hey everyone, welcome back to Build Tune Race. We're working on the Camaro. We got less than like two months to try to make the sick week. We're trying, the engine's now on its way. We got parts here and we're gonna open up some more today and try to get it mounted in and then we can start like painting the inside of the car and all that crap. But either way, today we're gonna start with opening up my new dual ice water and fuel combo from Rock Solid Motorsports. I decided to order one of these. I've been watching it for a while. It's really sweet, it's built for the car, it goes right in, and then you have a fuel and ice water tank, able to ditch the stock tank, and then have like a sump tank to run to a like inline fuel pump. So let's go ahead and get this thing opened up. So they did say, don't take it out and like put it a bunch of places. It'll get scratched up real easy and all that stuff. Not too worried about it. We're gonna actually lizard skin the tank so it helps, you know, keep the heat in it um, and the condensation from coming out and all that type of stuff. We did it on the Buick, works super good. So we'll try not to scratch it. But if we do, we're planning on coating this thing anyway. That's looking pretty good, huh? Yeah. Real nice aluminum. They did kill his job welding it and everything. We'll get it. We'll get it peeled out. Biggest thing is I need to see where the new battery tray's at and consider it. And in comparison to where my shutoff is at, so that'll probably have to get cut out, laid in there, and then I'll have to remount that, which can suck. So I'm gonna have a hole in the car, but we'll figure it out. So there is the fuel and ice water tank, so it's got this nice billet lid there. Wiring already set up for the water pump, the in and outlet, which will run up along the side of the car, I believe, over there. And then we have the fuel outlet down there with a vent, uh, that's probably return, and vent, most likely, I would say. So otherwise, it looks pretty good sitting in that box. Well, let's go and try to pop that thing out and set it in the car. So. Let me try to go under, go your way, just hold her. Stop. There you go. Now I can go under. So it's pretty much, uh, looks like frame rail to frame rail for the most part. That's, that's all I got right there. Yeah, still a couple of inches. Yeah, so okay, I'll get that cut out. We'll just maybe lift it up to here then. Looks like that is for sure going to come out like we thought, but there is a look at kind of the tank from the outside. It's saying it's pretty sweet. So this will make my life a whole lot easier and it'll make the car a lot nicer. And then that is also why I got the little firewall bulkhead that is up on the dash over there for, you know, sealing this off once it's sitting in here, we can get that mounted. So I'll get that cut out and then we can actually get it sitting in place. Looks like it's just four little mounts, two on this side and then two on that side. You can see one right there. Uh, that will just kind of mount to the frame rail, probably a bolt through it with a nut. Three minutes with the cutoff wheel and grinder, and ready to go. Now, let's see if it'll fit in there. See what happens here. Come on, my way. So just past this mount for this fitting. Kind of like middle of the the middle of the car would be get it to where this sits as flat as possible without any kind of rock. Can anymore. you bring it forward some? Right. Only till it touches the yeah, yeah. thing. I think it's because it starts to go up that little slope right there as well. So, what Alex and I are talking about is that the tank has just a little bit of wobble, but you can see like that mount is starting to come up that frame rail so we can slide it forward or back a little bit more we can move it this way or that way we just need to find this right spot i'm thinking that more or less as that gets bolted down that little mount will kind of bend a little bit and uh that's about it really otherwise that's about what we're going to end up with so got a return line you got the fuel feed down in there which then and i think i'll just take a 90 go out the side over here and then it'll run up along the side of the car there now we got our new New uh, battery tray there. So it used to sit down in the pocket and now the battery tray will sit there, which I think that I can mount my like fuel pump wiring off to the bottom side there. That might not be too bad. Otherwise, there it is, all in one piece. So a little bit of fuel, a little bit of ice water. Like I said, so here's the 
the two lines so you guys can see it. So I think the two lines will probably come 90s off of here, wrap up along there, pop out, go down, run along the floorboard and out into the engine bay to the intercooler. Another thing that's nice is the tanks are actually separated so the warm fuel and the ice water actually don't touch. It's got like a little air break in there. And then she's going to take this off. And we got a present. That cool stuff in here. It's like Christmas, Alex. Yeah. Oh, more paper. Show back the rod for you guys so you can see it a little bit better in here. Uh, right. Winter sun is harsh. So now you guys kind of see down in there, there's the big pump with the line that comes up and feeds what would be, it looks like the top is the outlet, the bottom would be the return for the inlet. Yeah, big old pump, huh? She. But it's nice, it comes already mounted in there, already wired up, so you just gotta wire it into your system and then plumb it to your air to water air cooler. We're making some progress on all of this crap in here. Getting it down now, we're just using a little heat gun, trying to grind it out, just scraping out all this sound deadening crap. Not too bad. See, definitely need heat though, don't try to do it without. Yeah. <laughs> Went ahead and used my new nut cert tool that I showed you guys a few videos ago to put the mounts in on this thing. Worked out pretty good, so now we can set it back on. We need to go get some hardware and then we can bolt the tank down and we should be good to go with at least that. I definitely need to clean up like all where the uh, stuff is that we scraped out and all that but at least we uh, know the tank can go in and sit there and be good. We went ahead and grabbed a battery, set it in here and I shortened up the mountain axe. You can reuse my on off switch position. Should work really good. This tray is plenty big for even a bigger battery than I'm going to run so I can actually overhang it just by a little bit. Have the mount come up over, grab the battery and still be able to kind of wire everything in real nice and tight because you'll have, you know, a lug here, a lug here, there, and there. So then everything is real tidy, real clean, and right there using my new wire wheel for spacer so I can get that thing tacked in. But otherwise, I think it is coming out pretty clean and pretty easy. The amount of time I'm saving by not having to make my own ice water tank or my own fuel tank is huge. It goes right in. It already fits. All the hard work's been done. Yeah, it costs a little bit more, but this... It's like a week's worth of work that it saved me. So by buying things like this, this is what will help speed up the build and be able to get it done sooner so I'm not having to fabricate every little part that goes into this. Or even the big parts that go into it for that matter. So there is the ice fuel water tank all mounted up. Even got the on off switch working. Everything's good there. Just need to do a final install once we're ready, once the rest of the interior of the car is finished up. I actually jumped ahead a few days on you guys. I never shot an outro for this video. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm going to get back to work on the Camaro. So if you want to see more, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and share button. I appreciate everybody for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.